Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Tenzil and uh, today in this video we are going to see how to install Mac OS 13 Ventura on VMware Workstation Player which is running on my Windows 11. Now there are 7 steps involved in the installation process so we are going to see all the steps one by one. Now the first step is to download the prerequisites which involves the download of VMware Workstation Player. Now this VMware Workstation Player is a virtualization software. It allows us to run virtual machines like my host computer is running on Windows 11 but this VMware allows me an option to install other operating systems as well without changing any property of my host computer or without making any kind of changes to the host computer so which means my windows 11 will be running as it is and uh, vmware is going to allow me to install mac os 12 or 13 or ubuntu or any other operating system which is supported by vmware so all these operating systems can be installed virtually which means we will get the opportunity to explore these operating systems without having any kind of effect on our host computer apart from the fact that we will have to share the resources of the host computer with the guest operating system there will be no other effect on the host computer so that is the main advantage of using virtual machines then we have to install the mac os unlocker for the vmware now what is a unlocker we will see that later and then we will have to finally download mac os ventura iso file if you don't have it already so let's start the steps one by one so first of all we will have to download the vmware workstation player so just open up your browser and then look for vmware workstation player and then the first link which is from the vmware.com just open it up And then the home page will open up now it says vmware workstation 16 player is uh, freely available to use for non-commercial personal as well as home use but the commercial organizations will require commercial licenses to use workstation player so keep that in mind and then scroll down below we will have the download link for the vmware player just click on it and then the download will begin so the current version is 16.2.4 that is the latest version at the time of making this video just download it all right now while the workstation player is being downloaded let's download another file that is unlocker for vmware now to download the unlocker you will have to open up this link which is a github link from paulo projects i will keep the link in the description of this video so that you can directly open it and then come under this section that says releases under releases you will find unlocker 3.0.4 or any other version just click on it then scroll down to assets and then click on unlocker.zip and then the zip file is going to start downloading let it download the final step is to download Mac OS Ventura ISO file if you have not downloaded it already. You can just open up your browser and look for Mac OS Ventura ISO file. You will find quite a lot of options to download it from. It's very simple and still if you are not able to find the ISO file, you can let me know in the comment section and uh, I will try to provide a link for that. Alright, now that we have downloaded all the requirements, we can actually start with the installation process so the first is to install the vmware workstation so open up the folder in which you have downloaded the vmware workstation player and then right click on it and run as administrator all right just click on next accept the terms and conditions then click on next then there's one option to install enhanced keyboard driver. Now this enhanced keyboard driver is a software that allows you to have a better experience when using your keyboard in virtual machines. If you want to install it, you can just tick it. All right. Then on the next page, if you want, you can click on join the VMware customer experience 
improvement program or if you don't want you can just untick it and then click on next you can click on next and then install once the installation is finished you can just click on finish button and finish the installation all right now before starting the vmware workstation we have to unlock the vmware so don't start your vmware workstation as of now we have just now finished the installation let it be that way don't start it or open it then again open the download folder where you have downloaded the unlocker so this is the file that is unlocker open it up then we will have to extract all the contents of this zip file now once the extraction is over open up your unlocker folder we will have to look for this file that says win hyphen install it's a cmd file and we will have to run it so just right click on win hyphen install and then click on run as administrator and we don't have to do anything after it is finished running or executing just close the command prompt and then finally you can close this explorer all right and then finally we can start the vmware workstation and create a new virtual machine so let's do that now that is the step four open up your vmware workstation and then click on create a new virtual machine now on the first window just tick mark i will install the operating system later and then click on next if we have not used the unlocker then we will have only three options here microsoft windows linux and other there will be no option for apple mac os x so the unlocker has unlocked the fourth option for us that is apple mac os x so just select it and then under the version select mac os 13 so since i'm installing mac os 13 which is ventura so i'm selecting mac os 13 from here if you are installing mac os monterey then you will have to select mac os 12 or if you are installing any other versions just select the version from this list accordingly all right then click on next and then from this window you can actually change the name of your virtual machine if you want to change like i'll just add ventura here and also if you want to change the location you can do that from here after that just click on next now on this window you have to specify the disk capacity which means you have to specify the amount of storage that you are allocating to your virtual machine in simple words this is the place from which you are allocating a virtual hard disk to your mac os ventura so it says the recommended size for mac os 13 is 80 gb which is still quite less for apple operating system since they require a lot of storage to work with so i'll just increase it to 120 if you have sufficient amount of storage in your computer you can allocate more than 120 you can allocate 200 if you are planning to use your virtual machine for quite some time then i'll suggest you to at least allocate 200 or more than that but even then i'll suggest it to keep it at least 120 after that there are two options store virtual disk as a single file split virtual disk into multiple files the first option will not utilize the entire disk space that you have allocated above and uh, you will get a better performance but in the second option your virtual machine will be split into many files so that the entire 120 gb is not utilized right away and it will be a little slower than the first option but it's a more sensible choice after that i'll just click on next and then let's edit our hardware profile so just click on customize hardware now the vmware has allocated 4 gb of ram which is the recommended memory and the total memory that i am having in my host computer is 16 gb so if i want i can actually increase this ram size to 5 gb and i'll do that the more the ram the better then after that click on processors and here only two processors are allocated so i'll just increase it to four this is going to enhance the performance of the guest computer and obviously while i'm running this virtual machine that is mac os ventura i will try not to do any processor intensive task on my host computer all right then click on new cd dvd and then select this radio button which says use iso image file then click on browse 
Now you have to browse to the folder where you have saved or downloaded the Mac OS 13 Ventura ISO file and then just select it. All right. And then we don't have to change any other settings. You can just click on close. And then finally, just click on finish. All right. So we have created the virtual machine. Let's see what is the next step. All right. The next step is to edit the VMX file of the macOS Ventura virtual machine, which is the VMware virtual machine configuration file. Now to do that, first of all, just turn off your VMware workstation. Click on player and then click on exit. Turn it off. Then open the folder in which you have created your virtual machine. The default folder in VMware workstation will be documents and then virtual machines. Under that folder, you will have your all the virtual machines present. So you can choose the virtual machine that you want to edit. Then look for this file that says Mac OS 13 Ventura and it's a VMware virtual machine configuration file. And then after that, you'll just have to right click on it and then open with notepad if the notepad is not if the notepad is not shown in the options then click on choose another app and then you will have to select notepad from there and then click on open now once the file is open in notepad just scroll to the bottom and add one more property that says smc dot version equals zero within double quotes then save the file and then we can just close it and then close the file explorer also all right now after that the next step the step six is to start mac os ventura virtual machine so just open up your workstation then let your mac os installation start up it's going to take a while And then after that, we will be shown this recovery window. In this window, we will have to open disk utility. So just click on disk utility and click on continue. Now under this internal option, we will have to select the VMware virtual SATA hard disk media. And then on the right side, we will have to click on erase so that we can format this virtual hard disk and prepare it for Mac OS. Now under the name, you can give any name that you want to give. And the format should be APFS and the scheme should be GUID partition map. Then click on erase. Then finally we are done. And then we can just close this disk utility. And then click on install Mac OS 13 beta and just click on continue. After that, we just have to click on continue and then agree to the terms and condition. All right, then click on the hard disk that we have formatted just now. Click on it and then click on continue. And then the installation will begin. Now the installation is a very time consuming process. It might take around 45 minutes to one hour, but it's still very fast as compared to virtual box. And also when I was trying to install this Mac OS 13 Ventura on my Oracle VirtualBox, I was not able to do it. There were so many errors and problems that I was not even able to solve. I was able to install the Mac OS 12 Monterey, but even that installation was very slow. It took around 3-4 hours to install the Mac OS 12. And then after that, the installation will be over and then we will have to set up our Mac. So on the first window, we will have to choose the country or region. So since Mac I am in India, so I'll just select my country. Voiceover. You can select if your you own country. If you use voiceover, press command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. And then written and spoken languages will be selected according to the region and country that you have selected. So we don't have to do anything here. We can just click on continue. 
then accessibility you can do that later so just click on not now and then how do you connect we can just leave it to my computer does not connect to the internet now after the installation is finished there will be no internet in the mac os 13 but how to fix that there's a workaround and i will upload one video very soon on how to fix the no internet problem but for now we just have to click on the second option and then click on continue all right then we will have this migration assistant here also we just have to click on not now then terms and conditions click on agree then create a computer account and then just click on continue then enable location services now it's totally up to you if you want to enable it i will suggest to just keep it off the less features and services you use in mac os the faster it will work in the virtual machine then select your time zone now if you want to choose a time zone of your country you will have to click on the area that you are like i am in india so i'll just click there and then i can choose the closest city now if i click on the drop down menu most of the major cities are displayed here from here i'll just select allahabad which is the city where i reside all right then just click on continue then analytics you can just continue screen time you can just click on continue and then choose your look i'll just let it be on light and click on continue and this feedback assistant also we can just close then finally the main desktop of mac os 13 ventura is going to load up all right so the operating system is installed and you are good to go you can start using it if you want to see the details about your mac you can just click here you can see the graphics has only 3 mb and that is why it's so sluggy and slow but anyways that's the topic of a different video so we have installed the mac os ventura installation successfully now the next step and the last step is to create a snapshot of the mac os ventura so that in case there is any system failure or any kind of problem with your system you can always revert back to the snapshot that you have taken right after the installation of the system and i have already uploaded one video in which i have showed how to create a manual snapshot of mac os 12 so you can just refer to that video i will keep the link in the description of the video and that completes the installation of mac os 13 ventura now you are free to use your mac the way you want and with ventura the system settings have also changed if you want to have a look now it looks more like the settings that we have in ios that is iphone so that's all for this video i hope you liked the video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching